okay so today i'll be telling you about skin retouching because uh, many of my some of my subscribers told me that they wanted to learn about retouching this photographs you know uh, to make some marks and spots disappear so first of all one thing you need for this is a photo with a lot of marks or pimples or whatever so i've got this picture i'm really sorry for this girl but i've selected this photo of hers and uh, as you can see that there are many marks on her face so i'll be making her pretty tonight so let's start let's start first of all with we we'll start with the pimples now for that we will use this tool the healing mask tool spot healing brush tool which we say and you will simply going will be simply going to click it on the distinct clear spots which we can see okay like this is one of the spots which we can you know clearly see spotted and uh, now this is one okay these two i think we can do it together yeah okay now we will be doing we will be uh, clicking on only those clear spots which we can see not those zones okay like this this is a zone these are zones there are many spots there apart from that there is also red skin there so we won't be uh, using the this brush tool on those spots so we have to make sure that the brush we are using gives the desired effect on those pimple marks okay So here we go. Uh, I think we've used this uh, mask tool here, and uh, I think we've cleared up all those pimple marks which we had specifically, you know, distinct clear marks. So we've cleaned those. Now what we can see here is the redness of those pimples here and here on the nose and little on the forehead and the patch here. So now we have to deal with those okay so now the things get a little more complicated uh, i will add i'll make a new layer okay then with the ink drop tool i'll select this color right here which is uh, free from that red skin area the original skin color and i'll take the brush tool we'll adjust the size I am just gonna rub it on these portions. So we will be selecting the skin tone from all those clear areas and I will be using them on these spots as well. Okay. Now we will do the same at this side make sure that we have picked the right color so that it blends so that face is evenly uh, colored so, you know so it gives an even tone a clearer tone uh, to her skin so what are we doing here okay. Now as you can see that there should be some shading on the sides 
on these sides of a face so we'll have to work on that accordingly uh, let me select the brush tool then we'll select the quick mask tool press Q and then I'm just gonna highlight these sides just to you know mark those areas where we have to darken the skin yeah okay, that's fine unmask inverse the selection I will select the hue and saturation tool because I'll have to adjust the lighting here and we will keep the lighting I think and this is fine not this much I think this is this will be fine yeah we will deselect it now what we have to do is select this layer go to opacity and reduce it just so these marks are a little bit visible but still it gives the texture it should give the texture of the skin and yet it should make the skin a little more cleaner okay okay so now we can see that the face is still having some you know it has some difference in those uh, in the tone so what we have to I'll select a layer as you can see I've selected a layer I'll take the bucket tool I'll select any random color preferably it should be a light color just to give it a tone now I'll go to overlay reduce the opacity of this layer and here you go you can actually see that the difference is very much originally it was this what we made of it was this so I think I think that's good enough I hope you all have learned so enjoy and clear your skin